How's it going, everybody? Today we got the next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. And uh, let's use the chibi skin. Why not? But, uh, yeah, well, it's been a little bit since we last played. Uh, they we're playing on the new patch, the Season of Souls. There's been a lot of changes to Smite. Uh, they, they nerfed the power and protections on every Tier 3 item in the game by... I, I forget the percentage. It was like 30% or something like that. So... Yeah, a lot less power on tier 3 items. Um, there are currently some items in the game that are tier 2s, that the tier 2s have more power than the tier 3 items. Uh, that was unintentional, and they're going to be releasing a patch to fix that as well. So those will be nerfed, but like, for example, tier 2, I think like tier 2 Bancrofts and tier 3 Bancrofts, just the base stat. Like, yeah, 65, then this is, oh no, no, that one's fine. I don't. I, I can't remember all of them. Anyways, we're gonna start with Chronos Pennant. Uh, let's see. I'm going up against Thanatos. So I want Blink, Beads, Aegis. I think I want Blink, and I am gonna be starting with a. Uh, what's what's the word for it? Gonna be starting with a wing shard and a Chronos pennant. Chronos pennant for the cooldown. MP5 sustain early. Bancroft's is just as good on Ymir. I've been liking Chronos pennant a lot lately. Uh, oh, also I have this new thing. I am I coded. You can see the top left, but when the game starts, it'll show the MMR and the of both players. But the Santos looks like they have their profile hidden, so it's not going to show theirs because you can't really show it. Use my shard here. We should be able to get a huge amount of damage. Bye. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, I was glad that worked because I had only implemented it recently. But that's that's something that on my stream, like now that'll be showing up on stream. I've been at, I've been coding a lot of cool changes like that. Uh, might be able to blink out here. No, definitely can't. <laughs> Not with Thanatos passive. Little unfortunate I missed first blood and then got first blooded, but oh well. That is okay. This matchup's not too bad, honestly. Oh, I, I lost my diamond border on Ymir. I, I didn't mind not having the master's border because a lot of people play Ymir, but damn, I lost my diamond border. That kind of sucks. I've been really trying to figure out different starts now that all the items got changed for Guardians and uh, still kind of getting uh, used to it. Um, I've been kind of doing what I've been doing in the past and I think I need to make some adjustments, but we shall see. I know Rainian likes to start to, uh, defense, so I might have to try that out at some point. I do have to be careful because I don't have Aegis for his ult, so if he gets me an Execute Threshold... Nice! Good kill, good kill. Had to cancel that ult. Got the dual orb for 10 seconds here. I mean, he's already alive. I, I think I should recall, because he, he still has his cooldown for his ult. I, I, I'm pretty sure if you kill him... Well, he's ulting. He gets to keep the cooldown for it. That's how most of those alts work like that. I think like Apollo, Thanatos, or maybe they don't. I can't remember. The ruling they have for ultimates and whether you get the cooldown back or not, whether it casts is kind of weird. Just get some poke in. I'll probably get Toxic Blade here. Toxic Blade's great. Uh, gives a lot of attack speed, plus it lowers their attack speed. Um, which is pretty nice. And obviously the anti-heal is amazing. We'll let him take that. Nice. Very nice. Oh, oh, I didn't get the body block. That's fine. Oh, is it fine? It is fine. Okay, cool. Let's go pick up that dual orb. Oh, I didn't get it. 
It lasts so for so short. I mean, it's a good thing that it lasts for sh short, because uh, it would be if it lasted forever, it would be kind of broken for situations like that where you're diving really hard for a kill. We did all interesting. I do have my ult and everything. Might actually stay for this. I know he has beats though. All right, all right. I do have blink here. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Um, do I want to try to push? Oh yeah, here's a soul surge. Here's a new uh, season mechanic that when it, it's in every single game mode, but when you a god dies, it spawns one of these soul surges, and it's it's a little weird the mechanics you guys might have to read up on it because the details are even elude me they don't really it doesn't affect duel that much but those little ghosts spawn and you get golden xp from them which is great i'm not gonna be able to kill him definitely can't his ult's still down very cool okay yeah it spawns those little ghost things it spawns a pair and then a little bit later it spawns another pair it does take a little bit so it, for the most part it doesn't affect duel too much but uh it still does because you get golden xp from those in other game modes essentially if any god dies with if any more gods die within the soul surge it starts expanding more and uh within the soul surge i believe gods at low hp take more damage is that right or you do more damage to gods with low hp it's like to encourage team fights and to encourage you to like keep going which i don't know is, is a little weird it's it feels it's like a snowball -y mechanic but i mean so far i've been kind of like in the the new season season of souls nice and get this tower 100%. Oops. He's slow immune, so I'm not going to be able to do much damage to him there. Maybe should have saved my ult so I could go take Demon King or something. I'm at max cooldown now, though. All right, let's recall. Maybe get tier two Toxic Blade. An item I, I'm probably going to start building a lot more often is Relic Dagger, because they introduced two new glyphs for it. The one I really like, a Bewitch Dagger is like Witch Blade on top of it, which is cool. Um, this one's pretty nice not for duel but when you activate relic you can see wards it's like a conquest glyph but yeah being able to get relics pretty fast is is nice i have my alt now i think we just go for demon king here he's like pretty low and if he tries going for it uh i, I can secure it with my alt might die for it but it's unlikely And he definitely knows I'm taking it. I took the slam damage there. Whoops. Oh, that was not the play, my man. Oh, the movement speed. Oh, that's game. <laughs> I'll probably get a, even though this will conclude Ymir for the Guardian Gauntlet, obviously Ymir is one of my favorite gods, and I think I would like a longer game, <laughs> maybe. So I'll, I'll probably get another Ymir game out just as an extra full gameplay. And, uh, but yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty good game. GG, my man. Let's look at the match stats. One thing I've also introduced, I'm going to I'm gonna share this because I'm, I'm happy with it, but one thing I also introduced for my stream and is also now whenever a game ends, uh, 
it shows the my my matchup and my matchup history for that. Now it's only going to start recording my matchup history for that starting like a week ago. But Ymir versus Thanatos, 100%, one win, zero losses. So that's my history of duel, Ymir versus Thanatos, every time I've played that matchup. Uh, again, only starting last week because I can't retroactively fill it in all it. But, you know, tanks that do higher damage than assassins, weird balancing. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's Ymir into Thanatos. It's a weird, weird matchup. I do think it goes into goes to Ymir's favor. But anyways, we got to spin the wheel. Let me pick the wheel for the next Garden Gauntlet episode. All right. Um, Let's see, Ymir, I need to take Ymir off the wheel. All right, spin. Kuzumbo, oh, two good gods back to back. All right, so we'll be playing Kuzumbo for the next Guardian Gauntlet, and I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.